okay now we are able to increment the product quantity by one and uh, we also want this minus button to be functioning that is uh, when i click on the minus button it should decrement the product quantity right so uh, the same way when i click on this remove button so this button should be uh, removing uh, this uh, particular product okay i mean the uh, cart item all right so uh, that's what we are going to do in this uh, video uh, first of all let's go with this uh, minus uh, you know uh, decrementing the product so let's go to the code editor here so let's uh, go to the views cart views here okay so we'll create a new function okay uh, once uh, this add cart is done let's make this here define a remove cart okay and of course we need to pass the request as well as we need to pass the product id right so now so the first thing we want to do is we want to get the cart right cart is equal to cart dot objects dot get get the cart by cart id cart id is equal to underscore cart id and the request okay so now we have the cart and also we need product product is equal to get object uh, or 404 okay so this function will handle if the object is present then it will give the object otherwise it will return 404 okay so get object or 404 and the product model comma id equal to product id okay since uh, we use this uh, get object or 404 we need to uh, bring it from this uh, django dot shortcuts that is uh, here just uh, copy and paste that and uh, that's done uh, then next the cart item cart item is equal to cart item model dot objects dot get product equal to product from a cart equal to cart okay so this will bring us the cart item and now the condition start if cart item dot quantity is greater than one then we should be able to decrement the quantity by one otherwise we should be able to, i mean we should be uh, deleting this uh, item right so so, so uh, let's say cart item dot quantity minus and equals one that means a cart item dot quantity is equal to cart item dot quantity minus one okay that will uh, decrement the quantity then we should uh, save this cart item right cart item dot save now uh, else cart item dot delete so just delete the card item that's all then once uh, deleted uh, return redirect redirected to card page okay card so this should uh, re, uh, i mean uh, decrement the product quantity by one so we should implement this to this minus button right so let's go to this uh, card.html and okay so before we go to the card.html we should uh, do the uh, path right so just copy this and paste it here so instead of this add cart let's say remove cart and int product id and a view will be remove cart and the name will be a remove cart okay so now go to the cart dot html so let's find out where is the minus button here is it here it is so this is now the button but we don't want button here so because we want to put the href right that's why 
we will remove this button and say a a tag and href is equal to uh, now the copy this same thing same here and paste it here instead of the add cart let's say remove cart okay that's all and this will be same cart item dot product id and uh, this should be fixed instead of the button close a tag okay so then save it now if i reload and click on minus it should decrement by one that is seven okay now you can see the seven it is uh, working fine and this one also working fine so as as i as the uh, number of quantity decreases the amount also getting decreased right so that's how it works and one more thing is uh, when i click on this remove button it should remove the whole cart item right this particular cart item right let's uh, uh, go to the uh, view function here so what we will do is we will uh, the same way define one more uh, function that is uh, uh, remove cart item uh, request comma product id so what we will do is we will say cart is equal to cart dot objects dot get cart id equal to underscore cart id and with the request and product equal to uh, get object of 404 product comma id equal to product id okay so now let's get the uh, cart item cart underscore item that is equal to cart item model dot objects dot um, get then the product equal to product comma cart equal to cart okay so this product equal to product and the cart equal to cart all right so now what should happen is uh, when i click on the button remove button it should delete it right no decrement no increment just remove this remove everything right so for that just say cart item dot delete and a return a redirect to cart again so only this code okay this will just delete everything all right so now uh, we need to make the url pattern for this let's go to the urls.py file and copy the path and paste it here now uh, this time what uh, the name will be remove cart item okay remove cart item uh, let me check once okay remove cart item so let's uh, give the name of this only views dot remove cart item and name will be same okay so the next thing is configure that to the remove button here so it is already a tag so just copy this and paste it here so instead of this uh, add cart let's say remove cart item and paste it here and the uh, you know the product id we need uh, that's it uh, let's uh, refresh and let's uh, try removing this a us polo jacket remove and it is worked right and remove again all right so now uh, there is nothing in inside the cart but uh, when when there is nothing inside the cart we should not be able to see this table right we should be able to uh, see some message maybe uh, your your shopping cart is empty and uh, uh, put a button called 
uh, you know uh, continue shopping or something like that right so let's do that in the next lecture okay thank you